were full of confusion. Now, I wasn't bright, I'll tell the truth. And my parents came to the conclusion that I wasn't fit for Manute. <laughs> Too tall for a dwarf in a circus. Still, I hadn't the height for the yards. And in between ignorant gossoon, ill-designed for financial reward. <laughs> but my father thought I was a charmer. And there wasn't much else he could do. So he sent me to work with a farmer in a backward place known as Rahu. This old man had no sister or brother, and he must have been 60 or more. And he lived with his old widowed mother, an invalid of 94. Now, the first week it wasn't too easy, and I couldn't do anything right. The grub, it was never too crazy, just stir about morning and night. The dinner had great variation, not a word about mutton or malt. One day we'd have salt and potatoes, and the next day, potatoes and salt. <laughs> now, the next week it started much better. Three chickens that died in the coop, and we ate the meat out of the feathers, and we lived for a week in the soup. The next week was all vegetation. Turnips and cabbage and grass. Now, that's not high-calorie ration. Then misfortune befell the old ass. That morning I went to catch Walter, for that was the old donkey's name. And the minute I put on the halter, I could see he was terrible lame. I ran back to tell the old farmer. He examined him crooked and straight. Then he whispered to me with a tremor, there's no use in wasting good mate. So he sent me back home for the hammer, the big butcher's knife and the saw. And the old donkey gave his last tremor when he plunged the big knife in his craw. He wiped the old knife in his breeches, saying, that's the last journey for Walt. Then he split the ass down in two flitches, and he sent me to town for the salt. Now, the mate of an ass, it's like rubber, not fit for a stomach like mine. But the farmer had teeth like a grubber, and he ate him clean out of the bray. I offered a bit to the granny, do you know, I thought it might help her improve. But that night she was roaring for Andrews, trying to keep the old ass on the move. <laughs> the farmer, he slept in the kitchen, in a big settle bed with two doors, for his pillow to straddle and britchin', and he'd wake in the dead with his snores. The old woman a slave to say ashes. <laughs> she couldn't lay easy in bed. When at night I'd retire to the attic, She'd be sitting there nodding her head. One morning I walked like a fable and ran down the stairs in surprise. And the old woman laid out on the table and the farmer just closing her eyes. I ran from the house like a demon. The farmer was shouting to halt. As I ran down the road, he was screaming, Come back here and get me the salt. Yeah.